Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema, and today we're going to be reviewing Toy Story 2. But before I begin, make sure to comment down below your thoughts on this film. What did you like? What did you not like? And also how it compares to the rest of the Toy Story films. And also go down there and click that like button and subscribe because I'm reviewing the rest of the Toy Story films leading up to Toy Story 4 and then ranking them. Down in the description below you'll also be able to find some of my socials that I'm beginning to create as well as some other videos that are pretty popular on my channel and you may like them as well. But without further ado, let's begin. Toy Story 2 takes place so many years after Toy Story 1 and the conflict arises when Woody is stolen from his home from Al McGuigan, a toy dealer, and is faced with the conflict of deciding if he needs to be rescued, if he wants to leave the home because he is taken to a place where he finds out he's famous because of a TV show he's on of Woody's Roundup. Starting with the positives, I gotta say the characters have returned in their original form and it's really fun to see these characters back on the screen and it was really great being able to experience them again. We come to get a few more moments from those side characters that makes us enjoy them more, make them like them more, as they were thrown into the mix once more, still as side characters, but because we got more, we began to learn more about them and like them a bit more. And I will say the story was pretty unique and the villain was unique as he was only trying to sell all of these collectibles to get money. He's really just an average human that's wanting to make money. But moving on to mixed elements, I would say there were some slow moments and moments that weren't necessarily essential to keep the story going and it just didn't make as much sense to add certain scenes. And there were also scene jokes that didn't seem to play off as well and you couldn't really tell if they were going for a joke because it was just not very funny and the way they executed the joke in that moment or if it even was a joke just kind of ruined the scene and made it kind of awkward. Even as I believe that the story was a unique idea and they did a good job executing their idea, I didn't find it particularly compelling. It wasn't too terrible because I thought they played off the story well but it didn't interest me and it wasn't super enjoyable as I watched the story play out. I will say also when we went ended up getting to Woody's roundup and learning more about them I didn't particularly care for Jessie's character because she sort of came off as a little annoying in quite a few moments and I kind even as we got her backstory and got to understand her I wish we got to learn more about the prospector and why he makes the decisions he does to just wanting to leave instead of him wanting to go back with Woody and the rest of them and why he's so persistent about wanting to have Jesse go with them, have Woody go with them, and we don't really get an explanation for that. Moving on to negatives, I would say one of the scenes that particularly went on too long was when, in, when they went in this toy store, which was convenient in itself because the employee walked in and the employee never ever showed up for the rest of the scene of when they were able to go into Toy Story. I'm not even saying that that would make the scene even better because they just go through so many different things throughout the Toy Story that doesn't lead to further the plot and only really brings out the other version of Buzz Lightyear. And, but that really didn't build any tension when they trap Buzz Lightyear because they know you're gonna get him back from there. Also re-watching this film, Zerg was pretty underwhelming as he was there for a very short amount of time. He was one of the elements that they got from bringing out of the toy store, but it didn't really do much as it brought a cheesy Star Wars reference into it that did not work well for me. And the way it just acts as a villain did not work well as compared to as what you would expect from Zerg. So overall, as we get to return to the toy box and the fun, lovable toys from there, the story doesn't play out well as it's very uninteresting and not everything flows well. So I would have to rate Toy Story 2 simply 6.9 out of 10. But those were just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. What did you think about this film? Was it better or worse than the first film and how does it integrate 
into all the Toy Story movies they have out so far. And if you missed my Toy Story 1 review, check it out right here along with a video that YouTube recommends for you. And be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and then also subscribe because I'm going to be reviewing the rest of the Toy Story franchise up to Toy Story 4 and then ranking them at the end of this week. So hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back for more movie reviews, rankings, and more.